Thank you very much. And this talk is called Two Women Who Changed the Course of History. Perhaps I should more accurately call this Two Women Who Changed History for Martin Luther King and thus changed the course of history for him. It's actually the story of two women and a song will creep in halfway through. First then, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, known as the First Lady of Civil Rights. Many of you will know her name on December the 1st, 1955, during the days of segregation in the southern states of America, she refused to give up her seat to a white male passenger on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. And her quiet act of courage set in motion a chain of events that were felt throughout the United States and indeed throughout the world. When she refused to give up her seat, the driver called the police and she was arrested. People said she refused to give up her seat because she was physically tired. But in fact, she was tired of giving in. So she did an act of resistance. And she said, when I had to face the decision, I didn't hesitate to do so because I felt that we had endured too long. The more we gave in, the more we complied with that kind of treatment, the more oppressive it became. Of course, she was arrested, taken to police headquarters, and as a result, the black community of Montgomery organized a boycott of the city buses. For 381 days, they walked. But it brought to the forefront a 26-year-old who had just come to town and become the minister of Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, the Reverend Martin King, Martin Luther King, Jr. So Rosa's action and the consequent bus boycott threw Martin Luther King into the spotlight and the civil rights movement really took off. Eight years later, on the 28th of August, 1963, at the Great March on Washington, another woman made a significant contribution that was also to change the course of history and Martin Luther King's history. It's 51 years since Martin Luther King gave his famous speech, which we normally call the I Have a Dream speech. And there is a very good book by Gary Young, a Guardian journalist, simply called The Speech. And in it he points out that King's advisors said, don't do the dream speech. You've done that before. It's not right for this occasion. So Martin Luther King didn't even have it in his notes. But when he came to give the speech, it was getting late, people were tired. What he said was tremendous. I have his speech on the wall of my studio. But it hadn't quite lifted the spirits of the crowd. And then the great gospel singer Mahalia Jackson, who had been singing earlier, sensed what was needed. And she called out, tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. She said it twice. And Martin Luther King, we are told, shifted his stance at the podium, put aside his notes, and the rest is history. It would certainly be considered to be one of the very best speeches of the last hundred years. Many have picked up that speech around the world in situations of injustice and inequality, from Tiananmen Square to Palestine. So the action of Rosa pushed Martin Luther King into his leadership role, and the action of Mahalia prompted his most well-known speech. So thank you, Rosa. Thank you, Mahalia. And here's a song that picks up that story of the 28th of August, 1963. And Beth Rowley is coming to help me sing this song as we've just recorded it for an album. Tell them about the dream, Martin. Million people 
walking in the heat to be free. Songs and speeches were given. The day was wearing on. Then it was Martin Luther King's turn to lift the spirits of everyone. And as he was close to finishing, or at least that's how it seemed, then the great Mahalia Jackson called, tell him about the dream. Oh, tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. Tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. 28th of August, 1963, at the Great March on Washington, he called for all to be free. Their justice rolled down like water, right living like a mighty stream. Then the great Mahalia Jackson called, Tell him about the dream. Oh, tell him about the dream, Marty. Tell him about the dream. Tell him about the dream, Marty. Tell him about the dream. He told them this is the time to rise up from the dark. From the quicksand of racial injustice to a solid, sunlit park. From the desolate valley of segregation, which now is the time to leave. Then the great Mahalia Jackson called, Tell him about the dream. Oh, tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. Tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. About his dream, where all get treated the same. In front of the Lincoln Memorial, he said, Let freedom ring. Gave a vision that lives on and on. So we're grateful for that time when the great Mahalia Jackson called, Tell him about the dream. Oh, tell him about the dream, Marty. Tell him about the dream. Tell him about the dream, Marty. Tell them about the dream, Lord. Tell them about the dream. Tell them about the dream, Lord. Tell them about the dream. Oh, tell them about the dream, Lord. Tell them about the dream. Tell them about the dream, Lord. Tell them about the dream. Thank you. Thank you, Pat.